Could the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons form an interactive process that we interact with? In such a theory, the future would be an emergent property coming into existence photon by photon, or quanter by quanter, relative to the atoms of the periodic table. I believe nothing highlights this more beautifully than an artist creating a work of art, with the future artwork unfolding quanter by quanter, relative to the actions of the artist. But if this is true, it must be true for the whole of the electromagnetic spectrum. Radio waves are a good example of this, with music from different radio stations only existing as waves of potential until we tune a radio in to an individual radio station. When we do this, the future unfolds relative to the radio and therefore relative to our own actions. In the visible part of the electromagnetic spectrum, we have the paradox of the two-slit experiment. This experiment is very simple but we have no rational or objective understanding of why light acts the way it does. But if we look at the two-slit experiment as a process over a period of time with the future unfolding photon by photon within the reference frame of the experiment it can make sense. Light waves will come in contact with the plate with the two slits collapsing into new photons as the future unfolds. The light waves that do not come in contact with the plate will go through both slits as waves with a potential future. The waves will then form constructive and destructive interference and over a period of time an interference pattern will build up on the screen photon by photon. This interference pattern will continue as time unfolds photon by photon within the isolated reference frame of the experiment. Just as in Newtonian physics, only when an external force comes in contact with the light does the interference pattern collapse. When an observer tries to see which slit the photon went through by turning on an electronic detector, forming a new photon-electron coupling or dipole moment, the interference pattern collapses. This is because the photon-electron coupling or dipole moment represents a new moment in time, the moment of now within the reference frame of the experiment. If the observer turns off the electronic detector, the interference pattern will reform over a period of time, photon by photon. In this theory we have a universal interactive process. The same interference pattern can be seen when sunlight breaks through clouds, forming rays of sunlight, with the future unfolding relative to the clouds and the waves of light. In this theory the universe is a continuum in a process of continuous energy exchange with creation continuously coming into existence with each new photon oscillation or vibration. Because the photon is also the carrier of the electromagnetic force, electrical potential is linked to the potential we have with any future event within our own reference frame. In this theory we have the potential to interact with the wave-particle duality of nature, turning the possible into the actual. At the other end of the electromagnetic spectrum, from radio waves, we find gamma rays that we can interact with, using them for the treatment of cancer. These electromagnetic rays can also cause cancer in normal cells. This process forms the uncertainty of everyday life, with each one of us having a future that is always uncertain. At the smallest scale of this process, the mathematics of quantum mechanics represents the physics of time as a physical process, with Heisenberg's uncertainty principle representing the same uncertainty we have with any future event, with the Planck constant being a constant of action in the geometrical process that forms a continuum of time and dynamics of space-time. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. It will help the promotion of this theory.